Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Yellow Locked in challenge Okay, so I've got I did a few changes I've uh, increased the level of my Pokemon I did say P-Fly would be level 10 But he evolves at level 10 So yeah uh, I'm, I'm saving that for on screen uh, Ryan's not quite at level uh, 15 yet, but he will get there, but hopefully by the end of this video So let's move on I think there's a lot of people we haven't fought yet like you yo You can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. No, I can't I can't jam out um, We can I mean if you've got lots of music on loud And you do headbanging you can jam out that way I'm pretty sure that's not really. Metapod versus Metapod! Metapod used Harden! Other Metapod also used Harden! It kept happening until someone decided to switch their Pokemon. <laughs> have I got it have I got it set to, to What's my settings right now? I'll find out in a minute. Thundershock is not a physical move, so his Harden's not actually gonna do anything to stop it. <laughs> And what this will also do is this will bring P Fly up to his next level. There we go. So I've, I've set this ba that battle style to the correct battle style now. Uh, let's go Thunder Shark. Wow, they always survive with like the smallest amount of health. It's so crazy. All right. Let's see, what we got, what we got, what we got. I just realized I used the wrong intro again. I didn't use my normal re intro. The one I just came up with. Like, a few days ago. So let's start again. Let's pretend this is the start of the video. Let's start again and pretend this is the start of the video. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, bugger, I, I screwed it up already. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Arceus. And welcome to Pokemon Yellow. There we go. I finally got it. I gotta practice that. I'm not used to doing it. Unlike the outro. I wish my name on here was Arceus too. Ran out of Pokemon. P-Fly is evolving? <gasps> let's stop his evolution. No. <laughs> let's, let's let him keep going. P-Fly evolving. Into a pea fly. Wait, what? To a butter free. It's now free. Free pea fly. I learned confusion. Nice. So that means it can now attack. And with confusion, it's got a special move attack. It's a psychic type. Uh, let me just. Its special is actually a lot higher than its standard attack, so that's really good. I should have started as Caterpie. I would have got the extra uh, Pokédex entry for that. Uh, the same reason why I'm probably going to get Pidgey instead of a Pidgeotto. Because the Pokédex entry. Kind of need it. Okay, swapping everybody back over. Poppy is now level 12, so Poppy actually has uh, the double kick that we wanted her to have. Uh, they're all up to level 10. I don't think they learned anything new except P-Fly. And of course, I haven't really done that much with Ryan. So let's continue onwards. Ooh, an item. I got a potion. Well, that'll come in handy. And up here we have... Nothing. <laughs> There's nothing up here. So let's get... Oh! Straight into battle. I actually faced a Pidgeotto in this area. I don't know... Uh... I don't know why it appeared, but uh, I did kind of want to catch it, then I realized I probably shouldn't catch a Pidgeotto. I should catch, catch a Pidgey and evolve it, because that means it would, um... I get the Pokedex entry. And I kind of need the Pokedex entry if I'm only going to get one of each Pokemon. So I kind of messed out, uh, missed out on that when I didn't catch a Caterpie instead of a Metapod. Although it was quicker to train, so there is that.
Ryan just decimates everything. And just keeps on going. Are you serious? You sent out a PG? I mean, why am I talking to the wild like it's a trainer? <laughs> of course it's sent out a Pidgey. It's a wild. It can't help what it is. And you are an enemy. I'm gonna be the best. You just can't beat me. Oh yeah? Well, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, Bugcatcher wants to fight. Dude, there are loads of these around here. Why would you think that's unbeatable? Been loads of these. Ooh, maybe you got a bit of a challenge in you. Three damage? Is that it? My Pikachu will destroy you. Go on, Ryan. And you sent out a Metapod. Are you even trying at this point? Yeah, I thought so. You're not even trying at this point. Just leave. Just go. Just... I'm embarrassed to be seen with you. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, level 14! Yay! You get to level 16, you evolve. No, wait. That's not you. Also, you can't evolve. See you later, crazy person. I mean alligator, that's what I meant to say. It feels like getting Pikachu to level uh, 15 isn't going to be difficult. I probably should have done it off screen first. Have more time to train everything else. Because I'm going to need to train a lot of Pokemon before the gym itself. Because finding Brock's going to be... Ooh, it's going to be. It's just going to be. Although I can take on the uh, the guy before Brock first if I want to, which I'm not sure if I do want to do. So it's not going to take much. I'm getting through this a lot. Especially with our current levels, we should progress fairly easily. Now, oh, there's an item here. I thought it was hidden. We got a potion. That's good. We want a potion. We do want a potion. We want to keep on going with potions. Let's keep going with potions. Also, the intro did actually sound better in my head. I'm just thinking about it as we play. <laughs> Alright. Ryan, use Thundershock. Ryan, you failed me. I don't know what I expected. Wow, crit. I'm just getting all sorts of disappointments today. <laughs> How did you miss with that? Isn't that supposed to be like a hundred move? I forgot it doesn't tell you on these. I forgot it doesn't tell you on these. I don't know why it doesn't. Probably because it's the old games. You're not supposed to know what you mean. Why am I yawning? Come on, let's move on with this. Let's stop yawning. Probably time of day. It's a Caterpie! I mean, there's nothing else to say at this point. It's a Caterpie. I, I, it's not like I haven't seen it before. Try something new. Try something different. Come on. I mean, I did it. <laughs> that it? But I'm not at level 15 yet! How dare you! How dare you not give the Pokemon, my Pokemon, the, the experience it needs! <laughs> if you want to avoid battles, stay away from the grassy areas. You don't say! Right after I've gone for a large grassy area. Hmm. Need to look everywhere to get different kinds. Yep, I know that. What I really want to get to join my team is a Nidoran male, which I can probably get from here. But, uh... Hey Pikachu, how are you feeling? Wow, we just lost all our color. Pikachu's nice and happy. It's happy following us. So let's go into the Pokemon Center. Let's talk to this guy. Yawn. When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too, Snore. 
Okay, uh, that's... Let's heal my Pokemon, yeah. Okay, so now we're in Pewter City. We're in probably the most important part of our story so far. Probably in the entire game. Probably the place I'll struggle the most at. Because we don't have a good party. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, um, whoa, Jiggly, uh, bloody Pokemon, whenever you hear it, you fall asleep. Oh, Pikachu's asleep as well. It wasn't just me. What are you talking about? I didn't do anything. Ah, Pikachu, you're awake. I have no idea what just happened. Pokemon sung and we just didn't... Honestly, I blame Luffy. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that was a random blame. <laughs> So what, what I want to do is I want to find a male Nidoran. Uh, Brock's gym is up here, and we can't actually leave the town until we've beaten it, because this guy... You're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challenges. Follow me, and he'll take you to the pewter, pewter gym. Which means I have to go away from it again. I need to get some training in, too. I don't want to just go straight into the gym. Guy just walks off the edge and disappears. There is a barrier there. How he gets through that, I have no idea. Because we can't get through that. So I have no idea. There's no way through. I think he's a ghost. I I'm gonna I'm gonna posit that he's a ghost. That's that's my theory. It's a game theory. Yep. Yep. That's where I'm going with that. <laughs> Alright, so That's a Radita. Let's uh, finish off Ryan's leveling. Now, just, there is a potential chance of getting a Nidoran in this grass, so I want to get a Nidoran. Nidoran male, please! Because this will be the best uh, team to fight Brock with, and then we'll go and get some more Pokemon. Uh, because our team will be full, and we'll have our, our team. So you're not part of our team, we already have Jawbreaker. And here's our friend. He will break your jaw. Because <laughs> that's what he does. Go for it. Uh, never ride it to, damn it. Cheese. I almost said cheese there, I don't know why. I, I was trying to say jeez, but it came out as cheese. It's, a, it's rad, what do you expect? No! You are the wrong gender! Female! I need a male one! I have a female one already! I'm not allowed another one! Part of the game! Actually, in this uh, generation, the only Pokemon that actually have gender genders are need around male and need around female. So... Haha! -ha! How am I supposed to catch you now? I got my Pokemon too strong. Thunder Wave? Well, that'll definitely paralyze him. I could try catching him from there. He is in Lear. Oh, no, don't fight. Uh, I'm gonna attempt a Pokeball. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna switch out and hopefully use someone weaker. Ooh, actually, I thought of who I can use. Luffy, you deal damage based on weight, right? I'm pretty sure that's what Low Kick does. I hope I'm right. Because if I'm wrong, he's just killed that. Hopefully I'm right. I hope. <laughs> I mean, if it doesn't do it based on on uh, weight, then it may just do fighting type damage, which is, which is good for. So here we go. We got our final member of our team. Oh, 
What do I want to give him a nickname of? Well, we already have Poppy. So let's go with... Uh... Let's go with... Ooh, I thought of something. How about... Lowercase. Quaking. I think quaking... Uh, is that quacking? No, it hasn't got a C. It's quaking. So we got quaking in our team. The quaking in our boots. And he's now level 4 and paralyzed. So I need to go sort him out. We have our full team now. That's really good. I'm glad we've got our full team now. Heal back to full health. Come on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm also going to catch some more Pokemon. Uh, what, what have I not got that we've seen? Uh, I need to grab a Pidgey. Put that in, in the list. And that way I can switch out Pokemon that... Uh, af after the gym battle, we can switch out Pokemon that we don't need. Such as... Uh, what's bad against water? Well, when they get to the final forms... Poppy and Quaking aren't going to be good against water. But we don't particularly have anything that's weak against water. Oh, what about Psych? What's weak against Psyching? Poppy and Quaking. And P-Fly, I think. No, it's both flying. That's fine. we got to keep P-Fly in for that, then. So, Poppy and Quaking will have to leave our party. So, let's check our Pokedex. Um, we didn't catch a Caterpie because we caught a Metapod. That was a silly idea on my end. So we're never gonna we're never gonna complete this Pokedex because we can only have one of each uh, evolution chain. Uh, I gotta catch a Pidgey. Can I catch a Spearow? Oh yeah, I can. Back by the other area. So we gotta go back to that other area and catch a Spearow. Got a Mankey. Is it really just Spearow and Pidgey? Oh, um, we've seen an Eevee, because he had... Because our rival had a, a, an Eevee. Wait, didn't our rival also have a Spearow? Could that be how we gotten that miss... Oh, well, I'm going to put Quaking at the front, right next to Poppy. They like to be together. They're king and queen, of course. Uh, why else would they be together? Um, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm trying to get at. I just keep saying, um, um. <laughs> and we've got our attempt. We got our Pokemon to fight. Let's see, Quaking use Tackle. Send him quaking in their boots. That's going to be a common thing with him, I think. They're shaking and quaking. There's a reason I called him quaking. There's a move I want him to have later. He's going to be a powerhouse, hopefully, if he can survive that long. I also need to get him up to at least level 10, 12? I think 12. I think he learns the same move as uh, Poppy does. So having 12... Um, having level... Is that right? Level 12? Yeah, except instead of... Um, Instead of Scratch, he learns a Horn Attack? Horn Attack? Yeah, so instead of Scratch, he learns Horn Attack while leveling up. And of course, uh, we'll still get our Double Kick. Which will be useful. Having three Pokemon with Fighting type moves will hopefully make the Rock Gym so much easier. Of course, there is that huge physical defense they have, but we'll work on that with... Uh, Maybe some Leers, possibly. Might have to like go to a Pokemon that's just neutral, just to get some Leers out and bring down its defense. And use Fighting type moves because they're super effective. Wow, this is not going well. I mean, we're already slower than him, so actually him doing that, this is going well. Never mind, forget what I just said. This is going well because he keeps string shotting. And you can only lower my speed so long, so much, 
I believe it's... Is it five or six you can lower them by? I think it's six. You can lower stats by uh, a factor of six, I think. I, I don't know the actual numbers, but... Uh, we've basically beaten this canopy at this point. It spent way too much time bringing down our speed. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but an interesting little fact. Uh, when I was younger, when I first had the game, I believed that any stat changes that happened in battle uh, affected uh, how your Pokemon was once it leveled up, if it leveled up with those stat changes. So I always tried to, before leveling up, get my Metapod to harden six times and remain at that before um, evolving it into uh, a Butterfree. Because I thought, oh, now it's going to have lots of defense. I was terribly mistaken, and I have no idea why I thought that. It was a stupid thing to think, but that was, I was convinced that was the case. You know, uh, holding down the buttons thing would make your Pokemon catch as well. I, be I think I believed in that too, and would just hold down the buttons. <laughs> I, I was quite naive. <laughs> I was very naive when I was little. Interesting, I'm pretty much the opposite now. I'm very skeptical of things. <laughs> so I do the opposite of what I did before. Oh god, a Pidgey. This is not going to end well based on his level. Can I tackle him? Okay. We almost lost Quaking right as I got him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Poppy, come in and save Quaking, please. Oh my god, I almost lost him on, in the same episode that I got him in. Uh, double kick's not going to be much use against Pidgey. But uh, it's going to be great against the gym, hopefully. I mean, I don't know if that's actually going to be the case. Quaking grew a level, though. So we, we've, uh, he's at least uh, getting stronger. Ew, he's down to seven now. You know what? I've got some potions. I don't usually use these. But uh, in order to get to where we need to go... Yeah, I think I'm going to use potions so I can train him easier. I don't usually use items when I play these games. But I'm going to end up using lots of items. I, I don't know if I've repeated that before. Quaking now is a lot stronger. Still doesn't have his horn attack yet. I believe that's a stronger move than the scratch that uh, Poppy learned. So we will see if that gives him a huge advantage or not. I will leave them quaking in their boots. I need to stop doing that. I've ran that into the ground. I, it was ran into the ground before I even started. And now everyone's gone off and they're off and they're quaking and <laughs> God damn it. I keep doing that. Um, I know, no, that was this way. Jeez, I can never tell which side I'm on. You, 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 words. All right, Metapod. Quaking shouldn't have a problem with this, considering he can just beat it up. Yes, the solution to all life's problems: beat it up. <laughs> that is not what I'm saying. But, uh, yeah, I'm literally just mashing the button at this point because he's just going to keep hardening and there's nothing else I need to do but attack. And it's already set to the right one. I like how they did that. They made it so it's set to the whatever you were on last. Is that when you first start battle? Why am I yawning? It's become a thing night lately. I just keep yawning for no reason. Like, literally no reason. It's always in the middle of a recording, and I have no idea why it happens. There goes, uh, Metapod. And Quaking just leveled up. It, no moves yet! Jeez. Quaking is really slow to get moves. I, I mean, I guess Poppy might have been the same. But I seem to remember her having more moves by now than just... Tackle. 
The quaking just doesn't want to learn anything new. It could be that they had them at the same time, I just don't remember it. I just thought, is there any reason for me to go back? Also, did I defeat a Pidgey when I could have caught it? I never even thought about that. I never even thought about that. That never occurred to me that I, that I could have caught the Pidgey. I was too busy talking about other stuff. <laughs> wow, he's a level 5. That means he's going to be... Um, Decently difficult, I guess. I, I didn't know how to end that statement. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's... Thanks. I can't believe... Oh man, Quaking keeps losing health! And growing levels, that's a good part. There we go, Horn Attack! They must learn it at level 8 then. They must learn their alternative moves at level 8. Why did I go through there when I could have gone around? I don't actually have to go into any of the grass right now. So, we've made it all the way back. Dun 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 now you can tell how out of sync I am. <laughs> okay, so I need to go to heal. And then I need to go to that area where the uh, Spearow can potentially appear. As well as uh, Pidgey. I mean, I can get Pidgey at any time. It's Spearow I really need to get. I would like to get him on screen, to be honest. Okay, uh, I have, in terms of items, I have four Pokeballs left. I'm going to increase, oops, I'm going to increase that number by, let's increase it to ten, just so I have ten. Just in case something happens. So let's add six. Oh. I do not have that much money. Well, in that case, I guess I'm just spending six... What the hell keeps happening with the graphics? So I just... So I've got a limited number of Pokeballs. No way of making more money. And I still want to catch two more Pokemon. This is not going to go well. Ooh! Radita, you're not what I want. Quaking, destroy him. My attack has a lot less moves on it. Look at that damage output. Yes. He didn't even do any damage to us. He just lowered our defense, which goes back up at the end of the battle anyway. So Quaking can also level up while we, uh... Search for a Spearow. You are not a Spearow, sir. I know you might want to be, but you're not. Please, don't think that you are. To think that uh, Quaking is the last member in our, in our first party. And, uh, that's quite interesting. Um, I didn't think... Actually, I don't know what I thought. I, I just trying to make conversation. Don't judge me. I can't help it. I don't know how to make conversation without saying that's weird. Another monkey. Why are you guys pestering me? I don't want you. Go somewhere else, please. You're gonna steal my hat. I don't like people stealing my hat. Please don't steal my hat. Thank you, and goodbye. Thank you, come again. <laughs> no, don't come again. Damn it, I said the wrong thing. Don't come again, I don't want him coming back. Okay, Nidoran female, that's different. Uh, 
You're only level two, though, so this isn't going to be very hard. Man, these Spiros do not turn up well. I mean, I guess I kind of figured they'd be fairly rare. I don't know, would you mind me catching them off screen and naming them there? I don't know, I feel like I should name them, I should catch them on screen and name them. On screen. I do really want to catch them before we beat the gym because I have the rule that you have to choose your Pokemon after you've leave the gym. And then from then on, you kind of, you know. Oh, why did one appear here now? We never got one before. I can't use you anymore. I have one. Come on. I mean, I guess I could continue with this team. I, I do have some pretty decent Pokemon. But if I lose Pokemon, that means if I don't have anything to fill those slots, I, I can't fill those slots, can I? I mean, if I left them empty, I guess I could fill them with other Pokemon. Would that be against the rules? I never even considered that I'd have a gap after leaving the town. And that gap could... be filled by catching new Pokémon. Hmm. Or... No, I don't think that's gonna be allowed. I don't think that'll be allowed. Uh, Anything you catch from there would have to just be put into your PC, uh, from that. You'd have to literally go with the Pokemon you locked in. Yeah. The only time you can actually, uh, fill in an empty slot is when you are fighting, just before you fight Brock. Because otherwise you just have Pikachu to fight Brock with, and that is not a good, that is not a good time at all. Uh, especially in the first generation. Because it doesn't even have Iron Tail. Which is, uh... Hey there! I was looking for you! I am surprised we found it! Um... I'm gonna tackle? Don't you dare crit. Okay. feel like Tackle's gonna catch it, uh, gonna kill it, so I'm gonna switch to Ryan. Wait, no, it, it growled. I, I should've just attacked. Oh well. What I wanna do is Thunder Wave it, so that it's paralyzed. It's still attacked anyway. Okay, so it's paralyzed and it's low on health. It should catch. Because it's a low level too. Um, although it's not unrare, it's it's not rare, but it's not as common as a Pidgey. It's just affecting its catch rate. Yes, got it. Spirit was caught. A tiny bird, Spiro. Had to flying high. However, can fly around very fast, protect his territory. What should I call Spiro? I had a nickname on Pokemon Go for what this my Spiros were. Was it like Battlebird or something like that? Probably. I I'll go with that. I can't think of anything interesting. And I don't want to stay on the screen for too long. If you have a suggestion for name, I can, I can name Pokemon, any, anything we haven't already cut, caught. Wow, this is gonna just about fit. Any Pokemon we haven't caught yet, I haven't caught yet, can be named. If you guys want to suggest a name, I will more than likely pick it. Okay, so Battlebird got sent to our PC. Uh, we don't need to stay here anymore. We can go back up to uh, Brock's place. Because we want to catch a Pidgey. Uh, how is Quaking doing? Uh, health's still pretty good, I think. And our levels are now matching the ideal here. I could go and catch a Pidgey. 
That is a thing I could do. Is I could go down to the first route and try and catch a Pidgey. It's have a high rate of appearing. Because there's only Pidgeys and Raditas in, uh, in there. I mean, I can catch a Pidgey in, in pretty much every location I've been to so far. I could have done. If I'd already caught a Nidoran, I could have just caught a Pidgey ages ago. So let's just go through the grass so that uh, I have a better chance of finding one. Also, I can get some training done with Nidoran. Uh, without having to go off screen, hopefully. Um, I know this episode is running on a bit long, but I really want to get this on screen. I don't want to catch anything off screen. You know. Because that's not fair. I want to make sure it's on screen. Make sure everybody sees when I catch something and when I name it and I sit there for about five minutes going, um, what should I call it? <laughs> I actually, I already know what to call the Pidgey. I already have a name for it. Um, it's kind of what I want to catch in this episode. So, oh, people don't suggest names right before I can name it. Or if somebody suggests a name and then I've named it off screen. That's another reason I don't want to catch things off screen, because if I name them off screen, and then you suggest the name and you really and I really like the name, I can't then turn around and name it. Because I've already done it off screen. At least I'll know after I post the video that I'm completely justified in. And you're level 8 too! Oh my god, this is a good turn for me. Yes, and I can get one more horn attack in. Just don't just don't kill it quaking. I know you want it quaking its boots, but don't destroy it. Just, just hold back a little bit, okay? Just, just hold back a little bit. And, uh, we'll be able to catch it. Thank you. Thank you very much, quaking. Now, uh, have a nice rest, and I will paralyze it. Oh, you are going for an accuracy sweep, aren't you? Well, as long as I can fund a way of you, I don't care about accuracy anymore. As long as my own accuracy isn't ruined. <laughs> wow, I'm surprised we got all of these. We've literally caught everything we can catch up to this point. And we have the party I want. This is going so well. What's gonna happen to Brock? <laughs> to screw this up for me. Because I know it's gonna happen. And there we have... Yes, I would like to give it a nickname. I will call it... B... Bird... Can I fit this in? Yes, I can. Wow, that fits as well. Birdsworth! Because... I don't know. I, I thought... Because... There's a reason, I just don't want to say what it is. Alright, so... Let's at least try to... There was a level 10 as well. That is really good. At level 10, that means it can do a lot of stuff it couldn't do before. Quaking, we still need to get to level uh, 12. I did want to get Ryan up to level uh, 15 in this episode. Well, I'll see what I can do. Um, but I'm not sure we'll get Quaking up to level 10, uh, level 12, though. I mean, with this, we might <laughs> at least get him up to level 11. <laughs> He's not far away now, which is really good. Um, I may want to boost up my other Pokemon as well. Give him a little bit of uh, a level up. Because Brock isn't exactly easy to beat. Um, especially in this version, where you don't really have a choice of very many... Uh, but you, actually, you don't in any of the versions have a choice of very many Pokemon that can do a lot of damage. But you also don't have stuff like Iron Tail or Metal Claw for Charmanders. You don't have Squirtle and you don't have Bulbasaur. So you can't make an easy time of, th time of this. Oh, God. You burps. Burps for everyone! Let's just have them all! What am I doing? I really should just edit this episode as soon as I caught that pigeon. I mean, Birdsworth. 
The name's Birdsworth. I, I, I'm not uninspired with names. I'm not bad with names, honest. Honest? God, I just want to get out of this forest. Let me get out of this forest. I caught two Pokemon. I'm g I'm ready to fight Brock. Well, sort of. Well, n not really. I'm sort of ready to fight Brock. And I'm sort of ready to win. And bring a new team with me out of the... Because I can't keep quaking on me because he's going to get destroyed by any psychic type moves. Which I know Misty has. Which also means I can't keep my other poison Pokemon at all. Which is annoying, but fair, I guess. Okay, so I'm all the way back in Pewter City, and I'm going to do my outro now. <laughs> so thanks everyone for watching. But for now, we're done here. Once I've finished healing up, at least. Anyway, see ya! Da, 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 da. I'm, I'm majestic. <laughs> Six Pokemon at last. Don't you dare hope to see me again. How dare you?